Hi guys, I finally have my last habit box, the December one. It arrived a couple of days ago, I haven't got around to doing this because I've been having a really bad few days with like the sunburn and everything, absolutely agonising. Today I'm having like a really high anxiety day, so i um, not even sure why I'm, well, I'm videoing because I'm having a high anxiety day and I've just got so much energy, I'm just like, ugh. Um, yeah, feeling kind of crap, like so much adrenaline that I want to vomit and I've been like this for like two days now. And it's like, ugh, which is like really, really terrible. I really, really hate it. But, you know, it's part of the disorders that I have. So, um, yeah, so I thought, well, I'll do a quick video and show what I got in my last have a box. So, let's have a look. And some kind of wine voucher. Well, I don't drink wine. And so, first up, we have Uriage Eau Thermale. It's a moisturizing, refreshing cream gel for normal to combination skin. Looks like this. Uh, see what it smells like. Um, okay. It says aqua on it, and it kind of smells. A little bit sea like. Okay. It smells a bit like I've been to the beach. It's very soft. Yeah, it's got a definite kind of seaside smell with a slight undertone of fly repellent. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Um, citronella, a little. It's not horrible, but it's not. I'm not sure I really want to smell like fly repellent. But there you go. Next, we have NS3 lip balm um, from John Plunkett, I believe. Um, I like lip balm well enough. Let's see what this one's like. Very thick, like an emollient kind of thick. I'm not looking, so I'm probably getting it everywhere. Smells like coconut, basically. Um, yeah, it's a plain one. It's not really got any defined fragrance, but yeah, it smells a lot like um, coconut. Maybe it's got some coconut oil in it. It doesn't actually have ingredients listed on here. So I actually have absolutely no idea what it has in it. That's not good. Okay, next we have Clairol Visible Repair Intensive Mask. Silk and Almond Oil. Noticeably helps repair damaged hair. Okay, that's, that's what it looks like. Uh, I'm not entirely sure I'm going to use this because my... Um, in my experience, because I have obviously dyed hair, like semi-permanent dyed hair, a lot of these tend to strip the colour out from my experience. I mean, I'll probably try it closer to when I need to have my hair re-dyed, really because then it won't matter. But yeah, that's kind of interesting. Um, next we have Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream, 8 benefits in one. Mm. Um, it's in medium. Now, obviously, I'm not medium skin toned. So, it's nice it has proper seal on it. The other ones haven't. I like proper seals. Um, let's have a look at this on my hand. See how dark it is. Yeah. I doubt that's going to be much good to me. I might be able to mix it with something else and make it a bit lighter. It has a nice feel to it. I mean, I don't know whether it will blend in, but yeah, I might try that. Now my skin's a little bit darker because of the sunburn. It might actually be kind of okay, but on the back of my hand, it looks a little dark. But there we go. Um, they also put in a teeny tiny little sample of Dream Pure. So this one's Dream Fresh, and this one is Dream Pure. Um, 
which I don't, oh it's got um, salicylic acid in it which I don't know if this one does I don't think so because it doesn't say it clearly whereas this one actually does say that it has salicy salicylic acid in it um, yeah so it's basically the same thing but with salicylic acid in it instead so yeah and this one is in medium light so that one might actually be okay I mean it's a teeny tiny little sample I'm not terribly thrilled with that I'll get that in a magazine but there you go but yeah it's only a teeny tiny sample and the last thing is a full size which is really cool because the others I'm pretty sure are just sample sizes but this one's full size Ego Sunsense Anti-Aging Face SPF 30 um, yeah so and it's made and tested in Australia so who can complain um, that's what the bottle looks like it's quite nice shake well liberally apply entirely face and neck after cleansing mild temporary stinging may occur okay why <laughs> that's slightly horrifying actually but yeah um, I guess that might be the anti-aging aspect of it so um, we will see there are some things with SPF that in SPF aspects to them that I can't actually use I'm not exactly sure what it is but there's some that make my skin just go bright red and I thought at first that it was just one of the batches that I had of something um, and then I bought it again, like bought a new one of it, and I had exactly the same problem again. Um, so I guess it's not the batch, it's actually the product. And I think it has something to do with the SPF because there are other ones I can use. I think it's the Dove one that I can't use. It has something in it that reacts really badly with my skin. So um, yeah, but all in all, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I mean, basically for $20, that's not too bad like I mean this is Australia and things do cost more down here the stuff that other people would buy for less um, and it's all you know it's pretty much all skincare at this one except for the BB cream but you know I'm not complaining I probably wouldn't have bought a lot of these myself I wouldn't have tried them without it so you know I guess that's worth it and um, yeah we'll just have to see what I get in January's which hopefully won't be too far away so I'll be able to do another video for that so um, yeah Thanks for joining me and um, I'll see you next time. Bye.